Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh. So um, I'm going to film a thrift haul. We are going to do a, um, I, well, last month I did like a collective April thrift haul. I think I'm going to do it for every month. I think it's just easier for me to do it like that because like I said, I thrift on and off all month and I think it's just probably easier for me um, to just do it like that and just do one big collective haul for the month. So this is going to be thrift haul collective, well, a collective thrift haul for the month of May, even though I know we still have, um, some time left in May and I still have some more thrifting days ahead of me. Um, I just thought I will start there and show you guys what I found. I have a little bit of time before Daniel gets home. So let's jump right in it. Okay. And we'll show you guys what I thrifted. I got some good stuff. So. Okay, the first thing actually I got last time I had my thrift haul, but I forgot to show you guys. So it is just this, um, it is the Glass Bake Company, and it's just a pretty, um, what do they call these, loaf dish, baking dish. I have a few of these. I love cooking with these, um, make meatloaf, bread, whatever. Um, but I just wanted to grab it. I think it was only a dollar, so that's why I picked it up. So, And I really like the blue pattern design on it, so... I picked that up. Um, I picked these up for uh, Gabriel or Daniel. I think either one of them could wear these. But when I see like snow stuff, I pick it up because when it snows out here, which is not all the time, we never have gloves or any snow gear because, you know, we live in Southern California, so it's not something that we get every year. But when it does happen, we're not prepared. <laughs> so I found these snow gloves. Um, you know, these, I guess they can be boy or girl, but... I just got it for the boys. They're children's gloves. They actually fit me, and they were $2.99, I believe. So, again, just another pair of really good, I mean, hardly ever used, if that, um, snow gloves. So, for the boys, either one of them can use it. Again, I'm like, I bought all of our snow pants at thrift stores, so just kind of grabbing stuff as I see it. Um, I was at a thrift haul. I mean, sorry, a thrift store last week, and the one that I went to had a bunch of, like, fabric samples, and I didn't have a lot of time to pick through it, so I was kind of, like, in a hurry, but I grabbed some stuff that I liked, so I picked up this one, and this is just a really pretty, let's see if I can open it up so you can see it better, maybe flip it backwards, and it's just got the yellow and blue and just pretty flowers, and I just am really drawn to this color. If you guys don't know, my living room is all blue and yellow, so I just thought this would be a pretty pillow. I'd say the size of it is pretty good. I could probably make a small pillow. I was hoping, or maybe I'll just get like a, a plain back for it and make a big pillow. I was, um, they actually had a couple more in the same print, and I didn't grab them only because I was like, oh, I can make a pillow out of it, just get a front and back. But the, um, the other ones have, um, like little metal grommets, like right in the middle of them. I guess just to show a sample, I don't know, but I don't know. It just has like this, whatever the maker is of the, whatever, I don't know. The name of it is called Apsley Vine or whatever. I don't know. It was $1.99, so I just picked up that. And then they had all this like fabric remnant, which it was a, a $2.99 for all of this. And I mean, I'm not going to open it up because uh, I like how it's just like neatly folded. But I mean, it's got like this pretty thick like wool stuff. It's got some grays and some blues and some whites and creams. And I just, you know, sometimes you just need fabric samples. I don't know, make something out of it. So I'm just starting to get a little bit more crafty here in my days. So <laughs> I'm sure I can find something use for this for $2.99. Why not? Why not? So, and then another thing that I picked up was this, um, an embroidery hoop. I've seen a lot of things on Pinterest to do with these things. Um, I always pass them up because I never think I'm going to use them. And then I'm like, oh, I should have got it. And then I can't remember why I got it. So when I saw this one, I picked it up. Um, it was $2.99, but I believe it was half off. So I think I paid $1.50 for it. So it's a large one. If you can tell, I know it doesn't even get all in the frame. Can you see it? <laughs> Okay, so I got the embroidery hoop. Again, that was like $1.50. I'm sure I can come up with something crafty for that too. And then I picked up 
um, this piece, which is kind of exciting. It was $2.99. It's just an old um, rolling pin. I have a rolling pin, but I just thought these would look cool as decoration up on top of like the fridge. So I picked that up. Really cool. I like that. I like the way it looks. And kind of to go with that rolling pin theme, and I'm sure you've seen these all over YouTube and like Pinterest and even um, Instagram. Um, I got a croc. This is a short one and it's the Pacific Pacific brand. I don't know. I looked it up. It seems like these are really collectible and they're really old. So um, it was $2.99 and I couldn't pass it up. I would have liked the larger one, but I wasn't going to say no to this. <laughs> I saw it and actually put it down and then I contemplated and then I said, you know what? I just better go back and get it because it's not going to be there when I come back. So I picked up this beautiful little croc and I thought you know even though it's not the right size technically to put this in you know maybe it'll look kind of cool next to it I don't know <laughs> so I got that and then um, a piece that I got recently and <laughs> you guys might think I'm crazy but it's okay I am a little crazy I found this okay <laughs> it is a uh, royal balls what is it basmati rice um uh what is this like burlap bag somebody had turned into a purse and i know it's not super old because it has like a website on here somewhere i thought i saw somewhere oh yeah www.kusharice.com or whatever i don't know but anyway someone put a zipper on and the handle and i didn't care for the purse factor of it but i just thought that'd be cool somewhere as decoration in my house um maybe stick a like a pillow in it and turn it into like a pillow decor it was $2.99 it was also half off that day so it was $1.50 and when I opened it up I just wanted to see and there actually is some rice <laughs> still in there so I think it's legit guys I just have to dump some of that rice out but yeah I thought that was kind of cool I would love I actually have been on the hunt for um like um old potato sacks because there's so many things you could do with them I mean just look on Pinterest there's so many ideas people are so creative nowadays I swear and even this side could be more of like a Christmas decor maybe like wrap it around like a, a little faux Christmas tree or even a real one wouldn't that be adorable so again for a dollar fifty I picked this up and I just thought it was kind of cool again you know I'll find a place for it I'm sure I will and then this actually is not a thrifted piece. My mom gave this to me, I think, because she knows I like kind of old, rustic-y things. Um, so it's just like this really old, um, I wouldn't say it's a pie pan. It must be like, um, I don't know. It's like a metal pan. But look at just the patina and age on it. I mean, it's got holes in it. And I think she had a plant in it. I don't know if it came like this, if this is something that was made to look old or if it's something that really is old but I'm telling you <laughs> if this is not legit I mean it, they did a really good job because it is they've got like the rusting and like even the corroding and everything down to a T so yeah she's like here I know you like this kind of stuff I'm sure you can find something to use for it and I was like yes I can <laughs> so this is probably gonna go somewhere in my kitchen um yeah I was thinking maybe even just putting like some succulents in it and kind of putting it outside maybe I don't know any ideas, any thoughts? I'd love to hear them. So, yeah, love that. And then I'm going to show you guys these really fast. They're not, like, something I'm keeping. I'm actually going to give them to my dad. Um, my dad is a huge Dodger fan. He had moved to Arizona last year, but he still collects Dodger stuff, and he has stuff in his garage. And I asked him if he had these, and he did not. So, and I'm actually going to be seeing my dad and my stepmom Memorial Day weekend. They're coming out to stay with us. So we're really looking forward to that. It's going to be exciting. So, um, I got him, um, bobbleheads. They were $3.99 a piece. So not too bad. Um, this is Adrian Gonzalez. He's the first baseman. I actually really like him. I, um, have a t-shirt with his name on it. He's actually missing the bat. So I asked him if he still wanted it. He said that was fine. So. Yeah, I don't know. But that's pretty cool, right? Adrian Gonzalez for $3.99. And I know a lot of times they do them as promotions and look them away at the stadium. But, you know, you, can, you can't find them. And this is Jamie Heron or Jared. I'm not sure who this is. I'm assuming it's an announcer, but I can't pronounce the name. <laughs> Jaime? Is it Jaime or Jamie? I don't know. 
Uh, horrible. So I got him these. He said he wanted them. So I will be giving those to him um, coming this weekend. And then I'm down to my last two things. So this I picked up recently. It was $5.99 and I'm a basket hoarder, you guys. I love baskets, especially when there's something that I don't typically have or seen. It is just a pretty, oh God, it's hard to get it in frame. There we go. And it doesn't really look that big next to my head, but it's pretty big, you guys. <laughs> and I really just love the woven pattern in it. You can tell it's old and it's just got some really nice um, texture to it. I don't know. I really like it. So $5.99, I will pay that for a basket, especially if it's something good in quality. And this looks really cute, um, actually, in my living room. I just right now have some pillows thrown in it, but I can use this for, like, I was thinking of getting rid of one that I have um, firewood in and just replacing it with this one, but I'm afraid it's going to mess it up. So we'll see, but I'm definitely using this. I love it. $5.99 for a really cute basket can't beat that so yeah I love that and my last piece you guys I got at me and my husband went to um, a flea market that they had here and they usually do the flea market I want to say twice a year but I could be wrong and I never get to go I went once like maybe five years ago but it's always like at a time that I forget or it's too late or I'm busy or something always happens, but I'm never able to go. So we got to go and we went super early. <laughs> we got all the good stuff, but he got more stuff for me. I didn't really get anything, but the one thing I wanted was a soda crate <laughs> and they had a ton, but everybody was selling them for super expensive. Like the cheapest one that we can find, the guy was asking $20 and that's the one that I bought. So let me show you guys what I got. It is a... 7-Up, um, I guess, just soda crate, and I'm horrible, so I'm pretty sure this is an antique, but I could, and it could be reproduction, I'm not pretty sure, but I don't know, again, it was 20 bucks, they had a lot of these there, so I'm assuming they're old, this one looks like the bottom was replaced, though, it's like it's got some holes on the bottom, maybe someone was using it for something else, um, because I know a lot of times they take the middle inserts out but anyways he said 20 we offered him 15 and then he gave it to us everywhere else at the flea market was saying 30 to 25 and they would not budge on the price it was like ridiculous like come on you guys it's an old piece of wood um and a lot of them had coca-cola a lot of them have set up but the same people were asking this like ridiculous price for the seven up one so i really like this i'm i actually have it on my my um oh wow why can't I talk right now my coffee table and I just have like my remote it's a little plant it looks cute nostalgic I like it so yeah that was it for my haul I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you guys like that I do a collective haul for the entire month rather than little pieces I, it's easier for me to do it that way just because I have a hard time getting videos out there so I will let you guys go until the next time I will see you guys bye